Hello guys! Flashlight enthusiast here. So as promised, I'm bringing to you the True 92 in limited edition Ocean Blue. But this is not a regular edition as I reviewed this one already on my channel. You can check the link right in the corner here. Uh, but uh, this one is actually modded with a different LED. Uh, my talented friend did this one for me. And uh, unfortunately I couldn't review this one uh, with along with the original one because this one was <laughs> currently unavailable. But uh, as soon as I got this one guys I tested it. And uh, here I am coming back to you with the news. Because this one actually features the not yet popular but uh, already becoming known the Chinese GTFC40 LED which is known for a 12 volt neutral wind ultra high CRI output All right so this one is a high CRI alternative for the XHP 70.2 LED but beware it has to be 12 volt um, configuration and uh, luckily this true knight t2 does have the 12 volt driver so without uh, any second thoughts guys i just uh, ordered the led from the budget light forum and uh, asked my talented modder friend to you know get a swap for me and uh, i have to tell you guys that oof, i'm really satisfied but let me show you the box if you don't know uh, how does it come from the factory from true knight uh, you actually get some paperwork and so on and so on all right so a standard true knight t2 you will get the usb a to usb c charging cable you will get some leaflets you will get the manual okay you will get some important information you will also get the lanyard with two spare usb c cover and two spare o-rings which is very nice actually including two spare usb cover that's something unusual and you also get the whole quality holster mmm I like that alright guys but putting these things aside I will keep this one this flashlight not only uh, looks amazing in this blue limited edition color mm, and black switch mmm guys I love this one but uh, the LED featured here bear in mind guys that uh, this one is domeless, all right. Uh, so comparing this one to the original configuration XHP 70.2, as you can see, the color is different. Obviously, uh, this one is neutral white. This one on the left, and uh, the GTFC40 comes uh, in this one uh, in 4000K, 95 CRI, comparing to the 70 here. Mm, but uh, guys, you may ask. Uh, what about efficiency, stabilization, um, and uh, overall output? Uh, yes, guys, you have to uh, know that um, the driver of the True Knight is special, obviously, not only 12 volts, but also incredible stabilization, sustainable output on this one is, is whew, very well made. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, with this higher CRI comes the sacrifice of lumens, I measured uh, this one with my lux meter and unfortunately we have around 50% drop in brightness. Uh, so unfortunately uh, from around 4000 you get to around 2000 lumens. But again it is not a tragedy for me. I mean um, you will still get uh, excellent output for you know compact EDC size flashlight 21700 battery in this one. Mm, so yeah still around 2250 lumens as you can see right now on the screen I've tested both turbo output and 
high mode, uh, as you can see the runtime is incredible. Uh, the flashlight did not exceed 50 degrees, 51 degrees actually, and stabilized at around 1000 lumen level, which is very, very respectable results for a flashlight this size, giving the less efficient uh, LED. Uh, and as you can see, the step down uh, from turbo mode occurred around 30 seconds, but from the high mode, uh, it could hold almost 10 minutes before stepping down to the level of 500 lumens. So, yeah, as you can see, the flashlight can still stabilize around 500 lumens. So, yeah, this is not a thousand lumens like the original version, but still 500 lumens stabilized output of ultra high CRI. I think that one is definitely a respectable uh, result. And now, as you can see, we've got a comparison to the original XHP 70.2 LEDs. Yeah, definitely you can see that uh, around 50% of output drop. But, as you can see, also the runtime uh, is increased uh, around half an hour. So, yeah, guys, I mean, is the trade-off fair? I don't know uh, if you guys are interested in ultra high CRI output then definitely this mod is worth this uh, is worth it uh, you will see in the beam shots that you actually get more focused beam uh, obviously cleaner um, but uh, you will also losing some light on the sides so you know comparing the tint uh, to the original XHP 70 this one is all obviously the the DC 20 so the the angle is different but uh, you can clearly see the greenish tint on the left side and the nice rosy one uh, on the right side. Uh, I also have the True Light T1 with XHP50 but also neutral white. So yeah, you can see the, the angle here. Uh, so definitely different tint for different purposes. Uh, but again, if you prefer something higher CRI, then this uh, LED will offer you such a privilege. So guys, let's wait no further, let's go to see the beam, beam shots. And now the T2 mod version with GTFC 40 meter. Beautiful tint done by my friend. The mod itself, obviously not the LED. And this is the lowest mod. So comparing this one to the non-modded version, definitely you get about 50% decrease in overall brightness so every mode will be 50% dimmer than the original but uh, in exchange you get a very pleasant tint neutral white over 90 CRI and uh, more hotspot I mean more def more focused beam and a little bit less angle I guess because as I remember it well uh, you had something like this white in the center of the screen but now you have less light on the sides due to the domeless emitter and now let's go to the turbo mode you can probably tell that it's not huge increase in brightness but then we've got a tight hotspot uh, and the overall efficiency of this LED is also a little bit lower so turbo runtime will be shorter before the step down occurs but again the tint is beautiful even in the snow as you can see no greenish tint whatsoever I will show the comparison to T1 uh, because I already sold the T2 so unfortunately I cannot compare both versions side by side but you can always watch the review that appeared earlier on my channel but for now on T1, let's go to turbo output. Okay, as you can see, the the tint is more greenish, and to my naked eye, definitely this greenish sucks. Um, but again, the camera probably won't show you then, and on the snow, the effect is only exacerbated. So, yep, definitely, I'm enjoying the LED swap. Very well. 
T2, T1, T2, T1, T2, T1, T2, T1. notice the green, T2, T1. It will just give you the, the impression that I'm really satisfied with not only the, the flashlight itself, but also the mode, uh, the mod. Uh, so yeah, this, this true light is definitely worth buying. Uh, even if you don't swap the LED, you can check the, the, the review I did for the original version, but with uh, swapped LED. Oh guys, the tint is, is simply amazing. So I'm really satisfied and uh, if you guys are willing to sacrifice some lumens to, you know, get the excellent tint and uh, a little bit longer runtime, uh, in exchange, then definitely I'm recommending this mod to you, but beware that uh, it requires some skill. So guys, if you're not convinced that you can do it, uh, just probably I would recommend giving this one to a professional or some uh, somebody more experienced, not to, you know, destroy the driver, LED or the flashlight itself. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because more videos are on the way and you can support this channel doing this. So if you have any questions, Please leave them in the comment section below and as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.